Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon. As you may know, Atari released Rollercoaster Tycoon Classic recently on Steam. RCT Classic is basically the first two games combined into one new game with all the original scenarios of both games and their expansion packs. What you may not know is that before you spend your money, it could be interesting to point out that our open RCT2 is pretty much a fan version of this game which has been going for some time now and does pretty much the same thing and has extra features as well. So before spending your money on Rollercoaster Tycoon Classic, if you own RCT2 the original game and even better if you own that along with RCT1 and their expansion packs, then you won't need this and I'll show you what Open RCT2 is in this video and how to install it. So here we have Open RCT2, which as I said is a fan-made open source re-implementation of the original Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 game. And not only does it pretty much cover all the features that RCT Classic has, uh, but it also has, as I said earlier, some new features as well. Now, one of the things that I highly recommend before you really start getting into using OpenRCT2 is that you have access to both of the original games. At the very least, of course, you're going to need RCT2, the original, uh, but I do recommend you have RCT1 as well, since that will incorporate the features then into OpenRCT2 from both games. I'm just going to go and set the music up here, and one of the new features you can do, it's only a small one, is setting up the title screen music. So you can have RCT2, or the first game, or you can have random music as well. If we go on to start new game here, you can see all of the scenarios have been included for us. Rollercoaster Tycoon, it's two expansion packs. RCT2, and it's two expansion packs. And then the real parks and other parks which came with those original games as well. And of course you have the RCT2 features, such as the scenario editor and the track designer. And you also have an online mode, which I haven't yet experienced myself. But it sounds interesting, so you can play on servers with other people. And on top of all of that, you can also incorporate your own custom objects, custom scenery, custom rides. Something that you can't even do with RCT Classic. So, how do you get this thing installed? First of all, it is free, don't worry, so long as you own the base games, that is of course. All you have to do is go to the link which I've put in the description of this video in order to head to the openrct.org webpage and there you can download the file that is needed. Okay then, so this is the OpenRCT2 website. It's going to have the download link as well as a bunch of other stuff that you're going to be interested in reading, I should think. And it's got some forums as well where that's going to be a good place to start if you want to go ahead and start downloading custom content as well, including brand new rides and flat rides. And on top of that, it, it, this does actually work, OpenRCT2, with... Uh, pretty much any version of the base RCT2 game. So most people are going to be using, I'd imagine, either the Steam version, or if not, the GOG version, or maybe even the original version of the game from when it first came out. As far as I'm aware, OpenRCT2 will interact with any of those absolutely fine. So in order to download, very simple of course, head to the Downloads page, and this can look a little bit confusing, but for the vast majority of you, you're going to want to just download this version here, the Windows version. Although, of course, if needed, you can also download the Mac OS version and the Linux version as well. So whatever uh, operating system you're using, you should be covered for using OpenRCT2. For now, we're just going to download the Windows version. Right, so back in the game, and it is actually very easy to install. The file you've downloaded will guide you through the process and it will put an icon on your desktop, a shortcut, so that you can open RCT2. The first time you do so, you'll just have to point to the path of wherever the game is installed. Note that I am using the Steam version of Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, but I don't have to have Steam open in order to open, open RCT2. Sorry about the lots of opens there, but hopefully that makes sense. So a couple of other things you might want to do when you first get this game working. The first thing is probably going to be adjusting some options, in particular some of the graphical options. When I first started playing, it had it set automatically to my monitor's resolution, which was 2560 
by 1440. And that was just way too high a resolution. I could barely see a thing that I was going to have to get my magnifying glass out. Uh, but I've set it to 1920 by 1080 and that looks absolutely stunning quite frankly. I also upped the window scale factor to 1.25. At uh, 1.00 things were just a little bit too small in my opinion. So I'd rather make use of that window scale factor but at the higher resolution than the game comes with by default. Also because I have Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 on this particular computer I can set that up as well. So, just let me show you how to do that. You want to head over to this miscellaneous tab, and then you have this Path to RCT1 installation option. And there, you click that button, and it takes you out of the game to a folder selection where you can make your way over to the actual uh, folder itself for Rollercoaster Tycoon 1. I'm using Rollercoaster Tycoon Deluxe Edition, so I just navigated to that particular folder. Okay, once you've got both games set up, then as I showed you earlier, it won't give you all the scenarios. If you don't set up the path to RCT1, you'll just have the scenarios for whatever expansions of RCT2 and the base game of RCT2 are available to you. But as I said, it does incorporate the features of both, so I recommend using both. And if you don't have RCT1 set up, then there's a few other features, such as the title screen music feature, that you won't be able to use either so just bear that in mind but it does just work with the RCT2 base game. I've just loaded up Forest Frontiers then to show you some of the features that are now available so you can go ahead and change the game speed you can also do this in RCT Classic but as I've said if you own the original games there's not necessarily any need to purchase that because I don't know anything that this game uh, can't do that that can and one of those features is being able to increase the game speed we'll just stick it to normal for the time being uh, if we head over to the save icon up here and go down to the options this will give us the same options that we get at the main menu where we can go ahead and make some customizations we can even go ahead and change our theme right now we're using the RCT2 theme we can change that to the RCT1 theme and we can even edit that even further by creating a whole new theme changing all the colours and some of the options that go along with that as well. Now here's a feature that some of you are going to really love and it's basically called the cheats feature but it's really just a way of setting up a sandbox version of the game uh, outside of actually owning the whole map that is. So what you can do is, I don't know what we're doing down here, is head over to the options menu and then go over to the controls and interface option and select the cheats function and once you've done that you'll get this new icon up here show cheat options and it gives you a whole bunch of options for doing stuff that you you know you wouldn't normally be able to do so not only can you add whatever amount of fundage you want to add in terms of money you can also hit the clear loan button as well that'll just remove your loan but without removing any money you can also enable no money which will disable all monetary options that the game would normally offer so you don't have to worry about money in any way shape or form I'm not sure how that works in... Oh, right, yes. You don't even have to uh, put prices on things anymore with the no money option. Interesting, although... Uh, I'm not sure actually how you... Oh, there it is. Look, it's back. So, once you change an icon, it refreshes. Gotcha. So, you've got the no money option, which is great for sandbox parks. And, or just the basically add money option. If you don't want to do a full sandbox, but are just struggling from time to time. On guests, you can max out all of their stats, such as happiness or whatever else the case may be. If you want to make them more hungry, so they'll all purchase food, then you can do that as well. You can even change the guests' preferential uh, ideas for rides and what have you. And disabling vandalism and littering is also a nice one as well. You can give guests a lot of money, so you can actually uh, have some fun with this stuff as well. If we head over to general, then you can change some of the... Uh, features and this basically gives you a ton of things that you're able to change part parameters let you set how uh, things spawn such as guests and whatnot when they first come into the park you can go ahead and activate sandbox mode which lets you purchase all of the land and and other features as well that you'd normally only get in the scenario editor you can go ahead and just click the own all land button so then you will get a true sandbox sandbox version of the game and if you ever get uh, to the point where you're really struggling, just hit the win scenario button 
and job's done. You can even change the weather and go ahead and just click things and that'll just occur immediately. I remember back in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon in 1999, I used to download all sorts of trainers and uh, software to try and get some of this stuff done. Uh, but uh, now there's no real need to. And on the rides, you can go ahead and do all of this stuff as well, uh, including making all rides new again so they break down less often and having all of these selectable features as well. So I think I'm going to leave this video there. There's a lot more I could explain, but it's probably best if you explore those options for yourself. And if you're interested, maybe we can have a bit of a play around with this in a future video and have a look at some custom rides that other people have made. So in my opinion, this is possibly superior to the Roller Coaster Tycoon classic game that's been put out on Steam. And it's available on phones as well, I believe, on iOS. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section of OpenRCT2. And if you're playing with it, or if you're not, are you going to? And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Cheers all. Take care.